well, I find myself on an aeroplane going to Berlin. We've got we've got special people here. As special. Well. We've got Rock. We've got Kev. That's Kevin, and he's from Matabo, who's actually kindly taking us. So we're currently somewhere over Germany, I'd say, northern Germany. Yeah, we're going. And we're flying into Berlin, which will be nice. Yeah, it's going to be good. We're going to uh, where we're going. Tell where we're going. We're going to Matabo. Matabo, too. You've never seen so many tools in all your life. I'm with Metabo, I'm with Haikoki, and the tools are everywhere, as you can imagine. Anyway, I'm gonna get around and have a look and see what's going on. It's all about the cordless job site. That's what it's all about nowadays. And some of the innovation, it, I mean, I just can't get my head around it. I always used to say, imagine what it would be like in five years time. Now that time has come, if you ask me. The power delivered by battery tools the versatility of no cables and indeed tools that never used to exist. There's over 300 tools available in the Cordless Alliance system. Now what does that mean? That's a battery platform which has been adopted by 30 brands and 50 brands all together in about two years time. Brands across the spectrum, brands that you know like Merfell and indeed some really niche brands as well such as Lamello, and you've seen me use Lamello in some videos. So I'm here having a look at some of the tools and basically having a go. This is a dealer conference, which means basically that dealers from all over the world come here to be entertained. They come here to see the innovation. They come here to meet the staff of Matabo and Haikogi. There's a whole range of drill bits, drill sets, you name it. They've got it, SDS Max as well. This is like, Christmas time for me and then we've got a whole wall of you name it they've got it jigsaw blades diamond discs we've got cut off discs as well and more drill bits auger bits and we've got your sort of normal SDS chisels so it's pretty good now these auger bits look particularly nice as well very sharp nice worm on them so that'll be a nice bit of kit to try as well it's a massive comprehensive range things that you just didn't know the power tool brands actually got involved with but they obviously do so another new thing coming from Atabo is the new system for carrying your boxes. We have Casper here who exactly. is going to tell us all about it. Coming on the market on the January 1st. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there you can put all the different Metabox sizes on it. We've got another thing coming as well, look. Yeah, exactly. My glamorous assistant is here. doing something. And uh, if you need to uh, go around uh, here fair or trade show like that, it's better to use uh, the roll plate. That's brilliant. That's the, super ergonomic. Yeah. That, the, the wheels on that are brilliant. And also if you're... On site, and you're also doing you can put in one all room. the ten different sizes of cases which uh, we have. So for the bigger power tools, the medium sized, anything, or all the accessories. Metabox is not only for Metabo, but for any uh, OEM. So we have here, you can see see uh, some of the CES partners, yeah. and there are many more OEMs which already uh, switch over to the Metabox because they really like the system. If you want to uh, have a clean uh, job site, you can put uh, here uh, a bag to get rid of your stuff. Uh, you can... Uh, yeah, just have a nice site bin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I like that because it is really important to have a bin on site, but it's nicer than just having a plastic bag in the corner. You've got something that you could have on wheels moving around and yeah. store your bag. You take it out and it's done and you've got exactly. a clean job site. You and you work like a professional. In there, yeah, if it's not a bin, it's used for carrying your longer items. Or if you're doing stuff with dusty items, you can put a bag in there. Say you've got your, your trowels and whatever, and you don't want them knocking dust all over your other tools. Put them in there with your bag in or whatever, and they're clean, keeping everything clean. I think that's and really nice. You can connect it to, to any case. No? You have your power tool here. You put that on top, back, and there you go. So another thing that I've just been shown is an adapter to put your boxes on other things. So show me how this yeah, works. Teach exactly. me. <laughs> This is a hybrid adapter plate, which has got different connection elements. And the best thing is we show it over here. Okay, so you can, the idea is again, the handyman doesn't need to travel four times to his vehicle. Huh? He has only two hands, so let's connect things together. So with this hybrid adapter plate, you can connect different case systems to the Metabox. So you can connect the L-Box, huh? a T-Lock from Sistana. You can connect the Haikoki case, uh, Makita case, uh, Devolt case. 
So that's, that's pretty impressive. Very simple. Uh, you take it apart, here you go again. Yeah, so you, if you've already invested or got tools from yes. another brand, you can make, keep, keep your old stuff, you haven't got to throw anything out. Yeah. And, you and can every professional, he, usually they don't have only one brand, they've yeah, got yeah. several brands. So that was the idea, to make again the life easier for uh, the, these pe professionals. Huh? Nice, thank you very much. You're very welcome, enjoy your day. <laughs> Let's go downstairs and see if we can get, have a little play with some stuff, eh? Let's do it. So what actually happens at an exhibition like this. Well, there's Ed. So Ed's wandering around, and is it, you're in uh, tall heaven. Yeah, absolutely tall heaven. There are so many variations of tools that you just thought to yourself, it's an SCS drill. But I mean, there's so many SCS drills, for example. Some that are absolutely tiny, and then some that are much, much bigger with integrated dust extraction, all the kind of things that you want to see. Brand new chop saws as well, ready in January, I believe. 300 millimeter. Then we've got like a 216 and a 254. So these are all new as well, and they look pretty robust. You know, they've got a really nice long depth of cut. We've also got plenty of drills, as you can imagine. We've got some really good drywall screwdrivers and the equivalent for timber. And what these will do is basically deliver so much RPM that you can just whack, I think it's 5,000 RPM that's put in your drywall screws. There's also a cartridge or a collated attachment that goes with it. So they've basically thought of everything. Indeed, there's one there you can actually see. And that one goes up to 57 mil screws, which a lot of them only go up to 55. Yeah, so that's ideal for um, insulated plasterboard, which is something we use a lot. And then there's some beasts. So this particular impact wrench has got a three quarter inch shaft on it. This is the nut buster. Yeah, the guy kept saying nut buster. It was really good, but that's got some serious power. 1,750 newton meters of power. That will, like he said, that will bust your nuts, man. I tell you, that is something else. And then there are so many angle grinders. You would not believe how many angle grinders there are. Everything you can imagine. I mean, some of them spin faster, some of them spin slower, some of them are variable speed. Some indeed have got all kinds of safety cutout features as well. You can even tether them with lanyards and all that sort of stuff for safe working. And then there's, yeah, there's a big one there, 36 volt which is what we used to call a nine inch grinder. But this is a really nice size, 150. And I think that if you're using the normal 115, which is your typical go-to angle grinder for sort of trimming, cutting metal and that sort of stuff, I think this one, because it's not a lot more weight or it's not that much bigger, but you've got just much, a much better cut, especially if you're doing steel and that sort of stuff. There's some innovation here, like this one here, you convert onto a rail to make it into a tile cutting saw with dust extraction. So they've really, really thought of everything as well. Let's go and have a little look at High Koki. Again, their range is absolutely huge. This steel saw, we saw this working, that will cut up to 58 millimeters in steel. So okay, you wouldn't do solid steel, but you'd do sheet material. So there's a whole range of grinders here as well. The choice is absolutely endless. Now, if you've ever used duplex nails before, so if you've done form work and you do, you know, when I was at college and we, we learned how to do basic form work, we were taught to use duplex nails. And basically what this does, it's got a, sec a first head there and a second one that allows you to pull it out. So knock down boxes, we used to call. So they've actually got a nail gun now, which will, firing duplex nailers and if you're a shuttering carpenter I could imagine that this will definitely be on your Christmas list and of course the high Koki nailer the most successful nailer that they've ever had this particular version and this has got a double magazine of nails in it so instead of the normal single magazine there you can get two reams of nails in there and if you're doing flat roofing Basically, you're nailing down OSB boards. That is the kitty because it's just two reams. You can nail probably two, two or three sheets down without pulling your nails out. And again, plenty of drills. Well, there's a really cool feature on this drill. I'll, I'll, shall I show you? Yeah. And you press this button here, the 90 degree button. You have an LED here. So you're saying when, when you're drilling straight, it's going to be green for you. And as soon as you go out, it goes red. Yeah? So you see, I'm at 90 degrees. It's green, red. That's yeah, that's good. innovative, isn't it? I like that. Oh yeah, that's the blower, isn't it? If I had more hair, that'd be more impressive. Yeah, well, a lot of my hair then. Go on then, give me a blow. <laughs> Another thing that I was really excited about is the 18 gauge tiny, tiny nailer. 2.2 kilograms with a two amp hour battery in it, apparently. And um, yeah, it's pretty good. We saw it in action downstairs. They were firing away. We can't fire it into anything here, really, I suppose. But And the rail saw, of course, there you go. 
This is a bit of an exclusive. This is a beautiful rail saw. It's so nicely engineered. One of the things I really like is where you take it round on the angle for angled cuts. It's got this beautifully articulated mechanism here, which just makes the rigidity absolutely perfect as well. Um, I think that's really key because sometimes when you pull something round on the front, it can sometimes twist or distort, I think. But this is really good. It's a really nicely operated machine. Works very similar to most of the other rail saws. So yeah, that's a nice looking bit of kit. Won't mind um, trying that anytime soon, that'd be good. And obviously sanders, if you like that sort of thing. And then you've got the cutest small lopping saw, a little chainsaw. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's, I mean, that's so light. I know that you should always use two hands on a chainsaw, but that is a beautiful bit of kit. I'm not gonna pull the trigger because there's a battery in it and then I'll probably end up cutting my arm off or something. So another new thing coming from Metabo is a gas-free nailer. It's really nice to have more and more guns come to the market that don't take gas or an air tube. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really beautifully designed one. It's really nice. It's got the soft tip on. Super easy to remove that one, obviously. You've got your prongs there. Yeah, well, I think it's nice. What's the weight like, Ed? The weight's good. I mean, the thing is with uh, gas-free nailers is they're always going to be heavier, and that's just a given. But the benefit of it being gas-free, the weight for me, it, does, it doesn't bother me. I'd rather have that extra bit of weight, especially when I'm wearing my Diamondback tool belt. The, the weight is spread everywhere, so I'm not feeling it as much. And I think the benefits outweigh the weight. I think it's really nice. Let's get Andy Cam to show us how this one works. Yeah, come on, Andy. This is Put Andy your mic Cam. On. Put your mic Everyone on. Everyone knows oh, Andy Cam. Here we go. There's Andy Cam from Fix Radio. Come hey. On. And here's why he loves cutting. Yeah, well, look at that. It's easy, this joinery, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Am I out of a job now? Is that it? I'm taking Andy. Right, you know how one of these works, Andy? Not really. Okay. You must do, you must have had a go before. Yeah, well, I mean, it's probably, it's probably on already, so as soon as you depress that down and pull the trigger, it's going to go. So literally, press down, hold, and bang, that's it. Simple as that. It's a bit scary though, isn't it, that? Yeah, it's all right, just don't nail on another nail. And it's also Easy got this a, joint, really. It's also got a really nice function, but they don't tell you about this one. What's that? Rapid fire. All okay. right. So you have to so press that. Yeah. All oh, right. Rapid yeah, fire yeah. on. You just hold your finger in, and, and so I'm not my finger is still on the trigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just you just go for it. Let's have a go at that. I like that idea. All right. Just take your time. Be careful. So you just put your finger on it. Yeah. And press. That's it. That's good, isn't it? That's why I like that. Carpentry. That's, I love joinery now. <laughs> it's a good bit of kit though, and it's quite lightweight, you know, considering yeah. it's got so much power and it's delivering a 90 millimeter now. This is a ring shank as well. And this material, this is like glue laminated timber. It's super dry and super, super, super. So is that, well. is that air powered? Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, but it's, but it's, a, it's a good representation of what it should do because this, this isn't soft, soft wood. It's yeah. very um, dry and solid. Oh, come back! Come back! <laughs> You're right, get out now. That's, 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 that's in! He's <laughs> gone inside and the wood's gone yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you're mine now! <laughs> that is amazing. It is, it is. Oh, and okay. the best of all, you can see the sign, yep. the seat is bent. Yeah, Mercedes <laughs> <laughs> is loving it. So yeah, here it is, it's the new nail gun from Tarbo. Uh, let's give it a test on this glue lamp. Let's wind it really deep in, just to see how far in it will go. And this is hard material, as Rob said earlier, it's glue lamp, so it's really... Look at that, it's going, there's a sunk right in there. That's in, go a bit deeper just to see. And uh, bump mode at that depth, let's see. All right, we're bump mode now. There's no delay on that. That's like instant. There's, there's ramp up time is really small. How many, do you know how many nails it delivers on bump in a, a second or how many nails? Yeah. How many nails? It depends on how fast you are. Yeah. So if you put it faster. Matabo boss doing the labouring today. He's passing the fixings. Oh, well done. You can start Monday. 
Oh, that effortless. That is absolutely effortless. It's just so fun to just keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. See you, see you in about a week. I'm just going to put all these in and take them all out again. Oh, lovely. Very, very nice. But they were saying in Germany, a lot of the carpenters use chainsaws for their demolition. So now they're bringing, trying to get resets back into the German market because we, we love reset for demolition. It's the best thing. But this one, let's try this out. It's a used blaze as well. That cuts nice. And I'd have a little go on that. That blade's been used all day as well, that. <laughs> Easy this joinery, isn't it? What you got there, Andy? I've got a big one. Ooh, I can I've see that, it. mate. So here we have a new drill with a 36mm auger bit. That is massive. Look at that down the end. And I'm going to go straight through this glue lamb and hold on to it for dear life. Luckily, it's got anti-kickback, so I might, I will survive it. Demonstrate that. The anti-kickback. So when it's driving and if it bites up a bind, if it bites up a bind, it stops. So that saves your wrist. If you hit something or anything happens, you're not going to break your wrist. It's also useful to say, Ed, that with that handle, You've yeah. got to use it. Yeah, yeah. So well, like when you're doing it's something all that about big, the leverage and the position, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So let's let's try and try into here. Let's make some sawdust. Nice and slow. And that's more nah, that's like, like it. it. Brilliant. Can I try this one? Well, one. How long is this? Uh, eight hundred. It's an eight. Twelve by eight hundred. Eight eight hundred mil screw. This one. Let's try it out in this bit of glue lamp. It's taking me for a walk. I'm putting no effort into that at all. The screw's doing all the work, it's walk itself in. That's incredible. That is a proper bit of kit. Hold on to the last little bit. But that attachment's nice on there, it holds onto the screw so you don't have to hold it at all. I mean, that is so brilliant. Nice. <laughs> that wasn't a screw, it was a sword. <laughs> This is the Hikoki nailer that we were showing you upstairs, the 18 gauge, weighing 2.4 kilograms. This thing is super, super light. Use it all day. But that is just, you know, it's just nice. It's really powerful, sinking those nails really nicely into the glue lamb. And they're just a really nice tool. This is a new nailer. And you, you might look at that and think that's useless, I'm not going to use that. But if you're in a situation where you can't swing a hammer, can't fit a nail gun, you can slide that in, hand on the back, boom, bash it in. But that is nice. For hangers. For hangers, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Nice. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I love that thing. Oh, the duplex is here, they do have the duplex. Ah, let's have a look at the duplex. So here we have another new innovation. This is the duplex nailer from Hikoki. And these nails are for formwork concrete, so when you're doing shuttering and things like that. And I'll show you what they are, and then I'll explain to you exactly what they're used for. You can probably guess, obviously. But put them in the nailer like you would normally, and turn it on, because I've just had it off. And there we go. So those nails, as I showed you, have two heads on them. The first head, the lower head, sinks into the material, and the second head gives you the opportunity to come around later when you're taking your shuttering off and your formwork off, to take out the nail. So this is the new uh, track saw by Hokoki and let's let's give this one a go. Nice, very nice and smooth. That's quite a big cut for it as well. It's only melamine but that's nice. So why are we here in Berlin looking at the Tarbo? Well, we are here because this lovely gentleman has invited us. This is Kevin, who Hi, works uh, UK. Tarbo UK. Tarbo UK brand manager. Brand manager. Technical there you go. Responsible product, product management and uh, marketing. So, how's it been for you? Personally, uh, I, was, I was slightly apprehensive. Obviously, taking you guys two days off the road, earning a living, I was a bit apprehensive what you would think. But I personally am absolutely blown away 
uh, by the effort of the Metabo and Hikoki guys. Um, Definitely, that's, a, a that's what I liked as well because a lot of it was a surprise to you. It was. A lot, of, a lot of the new things and what was coming up throughout today was new to you. So we all experienced it together. Yeah. And we got to have that moment and it was really, really exciting. And just the fact that the innovation room, the amount of new tools coming out, it's exciting. You're covering so many more bases now and it's, it's, yeah. it's brilliant. I think that's uh, one thing from Metabo, from, from Metabo side is that we're, you know, we, we rely on innovation. We're launching several products every three months. Um, typically, from a product management perspective, we see it like a two-year roadmap. Yeah. For you guys, uh, you've had a five-year look into the future of certain products. Yeah. And uh, for you guys at home, you know, seeing how we're solving new applications, obviously materials are changing all the time. So we have to launch new accessories to process those materials, new tools to process the materials. And I think the expectation of the customer always changes. Yeah. Like with a mobile phone, you know, the mobile phone is upgraded all the time. Mm. Not really because of features and benefits, but from customer expectations. So as a, as a manufacturer, you also have to take that into consideration. And, and for us learning more about Metabo, because Metabo has been around for a long time, but the actual how much Metabo is into metalwork and how many grind, angle grinders that you guys have on the market for so many different applications within metalwork. Yes. I think that is really interesting for me to see that it's a very craftsman based product. So you've got the high end woodworking stuff and the high end metal work yeah. and now all the other things coming to it. So it's really interesting I'd, to know I'd that. Like to, I'd like to also add the fact that, um, so if you're into all kinds of carpentry work or building like work like we are, there's always a tool that you think you need. Now, the CAS uh, uh, platform. Cordless Alliance system. Yeah, the Cordless Alliance system is absolutely brilliant because there are so many other brands along with Metabo, like Mavell, like who else? Lamello. Lamello as well. Fisher. I mean, you know, if you're just starting out, you're thinking, where should I go? What should I buy? Think about some of the cordless alliance stuff because you can get into Metabo and um, it, it, opens, it opens up the power to the world for you, definitely. Yeah, I'd say 100%. No, I say, as, as today, we're currently at 30 brands, that's over 300 tools. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we learned already uh, today and yesterday that we're probably looking to add another 10, 15 uh, brands within the next six months, and we'll hopefully have 500 plus new tools in the next two years. So. Yeah, exciting, exciting, exciting times yeah, in the power exactly, toy industry. That's a very impressive catalogue to have, a big yeah, part. It is, it is. It is. And, sorry, on, but no, CAS, on. as you said to me yesterday, CAS is a Metabo product, so it's a Metabo battery. Yep, is it's it not? So it's created by Metabo. by Metabo, and they have said, actually, we'll let you join in to how good our batteries are. I think this is where the value of CAS comes for the end user, is that Metabo, we're the expert in the battery technology, but we're not the expert in a biscuit joint, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Where Lamello are the perfect expert yeah. in that product, yeah. so this is where the CAS partners and that's come what, together. And that's what Lamello said to us when we spoke to them, is that they don't want to be a battery, they just make a good tool and yeah. they want to go cordless. Yeah. So for so them, yeah. it's, an easy, it's a better, yeah. better yeah. for everyone. So the customer has the best product, the best battery technology, backed up free warranty yeah. and snow. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a fantastic time. Um, I love, hello, I love <laughs> Berlin and it's been a really nice trip. <laughs> we've, um, we've really enjoyed ourselves. They're just setting up for dinner around so us. Yeah, we shouldn't have to be here. I'd like yeah. to personally thank you for inviting us along. And um, me, definitely. And you nice. a couple of days out of our life. But actually, what we get to see, uh, it's like an education. And I think yeah. education is so valuable. And also, we get lots of questions from people about all kinds of tools all kinds of people and I think it's just really nice to be able to say I can put my hand on my heart and talk about the, the products you know yeah with, with some knowledge yeah well I'd just like to say from, from my side heartfelt thank you um, it's actually it's a pleasure as always to meet you at trade fairs it's even more of a pleasure to spend a couple of days with you having some beers and having, having some nice food. Yeah, it's been and amazing. It's, it's actually, no, it's a personal privilege oh. as well as one for the business. So well, let's have, say have cheers both of you that. guys are here. Thank you so much. So cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank cheers you, Ed. Thank and, you, uh, yeah. Cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thanks let's, very go much. And, uh, let's go have another beer, shall we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done, lads. Brilliant. Candy am. Um. I'm, I'm doing a time lapse. I've got to go really slowly. <laughs> I'll never get back up again. Let's have the three plums on the bottom. Yeah. 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 Oh, Me and my, on, new, my new best, my new apprentice. Apprentice, yeah. Right. This one. Hey. What about the bloke? Come on, man. Come on, man. What about the, the bloke's got to tag every single person? <laughs> We're here with. Andy Cam's here with us. You saw him earlier. Let me introduce you to my little friend. <laughs> That's Andy Cam. Who else have we got here? James, oh, James with us on this trip. Yo, how's it going? Yeah, anyone who's uh, might have seen James, he's an electrician. He's got his own YouTube channel as well. So we've got more other trades. We've got more plumbers. Marcus, say hello. Hi there, how are we doing? Lovely, everyone knows this for oh, It's yeah. Toddy Glister! Toddy! Hey. Hey.
Uh, I'm just uh, supporting my favourite app here, uh, Grinder. Yeah, excellent. You've got, double, you've got two things going on in Grinder there. Yeah, exactly. I'm double dips. And uh, we've got Big Ryan Davis as well. How are we all? I am Ryan Davis of our Davis Electrical. Link will be down. No, 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 no. We've got Adam. Ah, Adam. Yeah, it's Adam. Here he is. The man of the trip, Adam Hello. Simmons. The steel god. How you doing, Where have you been, mate? I've been waiting for you for about half an hour. I've been networking. Oh, well, I've, been asking, I've been asking them a drill reprogram. <laughs> the beer's cold down here. They said they'd do it. How good's that? How good's customer service when you ask for a brand new drill that's only been released and say to the guys, is a little bit fast for the operations we're doing? And they say, that's fine. Just email it over what speed you want and we'll reprogram your drill. Like, Happy that's, days. That's customer that's service. That's what we like, isn't it? Isn't it? it takes someone like Adam Simmons to actually know that he needs his most sophisticated drill in the world reprogrammed slightly because he's a perfectionist just like me. I don't know what speeds I need. I just know I need them slower than I do at the moment. <laughs> So hopefully in the pipeline we might go and see Adam in his beautiful workshop and do some steel work. Coming down for coming down for a yeah, holiday. Doing, doing a bit of welding, doing yeah. a bit of playing with your tools. We'll have you we'll have you and Rob welding before you know it. Happy days, happy, happy days. days.